Here at home, Seattle Mayor Ed Murray will soon sign into law the city income tax on high earners passed by the city council this week. But a lawsuit is likely to follow and the case could wind up all the way at the state Supreme Court. King 5 political reporter Natalie Brand talked with a former Supreme Court justice here in Washington about what the court is going to consider. And the court is going to be looking at the history of past rulings on the subject. And since the 1930s, the state Supreme Court has been pretty firm on this topic. Back in the 1930s, the people adopted a straightforward graduated net income tax by initiative, and the court said, no, it's, it's you know, income is property, blew it away. Former state Supreme Court Justice Phil Talmadge says that's one of the key decisions Washington's high court has taken into account when reviewing the idea of a graduated income tax. For nearly a century, the state Supreme Court has said income must be subject to this section of the state constitution that says property must be taxed uniformly. Under Washington law, you can have a flat rate income tax. It's perfectly legal. You can't have a graduated income tax under Washington's interpretation of its state constitution. Whether that interpretation changes is up to the current state Supreme Court if Seattle's new ordinance winds up heading all the way to the Temple of Justice. Nine in favor, none opposed. And that's what supporters of Seattle's tax on high earners are expecting, including the attorneys who helped with the drafting of the proposal. We're confident that the state Supreme Court is going to correct the 1930s decisions that have led to Washington having the most regressive tax system in the nation. Claire Tonry, an attorney who's been working with the coalition that helped craft the Seattle law, says one of their key arguments is that courts in other states with this same uniformity constitutional clause have overturned earlier decisions paving the way for a similar tax. The vast majority of states that have uniformity clauses in their constitutions permit a progressive income tax. So what legal standard could trigger our state Supreme Court to reinterpret the law? Well, former Justice Talmadge weighs in on that angle new at 630. As for who will likely file this legal challenge we've been talking about, we've learned the Olympia-based Freedom Foundation says it's looking for uh, to lead a coalition of partners to bring forward that suit, and it could come as early within a couple of weeks. So we'll keep watching. Okay. Natalie, Natalie Brent, thank, thank you. you.